Hello everyone and welcome back. So now that it is officially summer and a happy summer solstice to everyone. I don't know if you follow that summer solstice was over the weekend and it was the longest day of the year. So it is officially summer. So before you go and get your shorts and t-shirts and everything, I thought that I would do a little favorite summer clothing. So, um, here are a few things that I think are great for summer. Some t-shirts, shorts, you know, different outfits that I think will be really great for summer. First thing that I'm going to talk about is bathing suits. It's people's favorite part of the summer is going to the beach or going to the pool, whichever you prefer. I have two bathing suits that I personally love. The, the first one is very, very me. It's from Victoria's Secrets. It's teal. It's a kind of wrap bathing suit and the strap kind of goes over like a halter and it buckles in the back. And it's super comfy. Um, it was quite expensive because it's Victoria's Secrets and you're going to pay for the product. But if you're willing to spend the money, their bathing suits last and last. This has been to Hawaii twice and a bunch of other trips. So this is definitely um, a good bathing suit. And something that I carry around with me on the weekends because you never know when the pool will call or the beach will appear. The second bathing suit I have is a way more affordable brand. It's Target. I believe it's Massimo and it is very very similar to the first. It has the strap that goes around. This is all twisted. Sorry. It has the strap that goes around like a halter. I've tied it because it's too long and it does have the same kind of twisted effect in the middle. And it does come together just like the other one with a nice, with a nice fancy clasp. Um, like I said, this is Target. I believe it was 20 bucks for this and the matching bottoms. And these are very 50s-esque, which is very in right now. 50s and 60s bathing suits, high-waisted, are very in. And this is very much 60s, very polka dot, very fun. Um, this also went with me to Hawaii. It was the bathing suit that I wore 90% of the time. So if you want a more affordable option, Target always has great swimsuits. Great swimsuits. So, with summer, you're going to be wearing a lot of shorts. You're going to be in and out of different activities. So, my favorite shorts to wear are denim. These are some, these are from Massimo. They're from Target. They're kind of semi-high-waisted, kind of not. They have the two buttons, like high-waisted, but they, they're not as high-waisted. They're like medium high-waisted. I really love these. I don't have, I usually have to wear a belt with, with things because they fall off my hips. These fit perfectly. I do not have to wear a belt with them, and they also look really great with flowy shirts, slouchy, you know, muscle t-shirts, um, with bandio bras, so I definitely love a good denim short in the summer, and these definitely I would keep in my closet at all times. Now, the second pair of shorts that I, that I usually wear in the summer are athletic shorts, these are actually my athletic shorts from college. They do say Lynn University on the side. But these are probably, I usually twist them like that. These are probably the comfiest pair of shorts ever. Um, I love these shorts and they're nylon and they breathe. So these are really good for working out or if I'm running errands I slip these on. They're not as hot and constricting as jeans. So, always have a pair of athletic shorts in your summer clothing routine, or kind of in and out of. The third pair of shorts um, are a little fancier. They're khaki. 
They're a khaki short. Now, I would wear this if I was going to, and you, and what's nice about these, these are all Target, um, Massimo's Target. What's nice about these is it has this hem that you can also roll up. It's a double thing. You can roll it up or leave it down, whichever you choose. Now, these are kind of a khaki off-white color, so I would wear these if I was going to a barbecue. I would probably wear these on the 4th of July. But if I want to look a little nicer, if I want to not be just really chucking on a jean short or sport short, I will put these on. I do have another pair of these in tan, um, but I just think unless you're tan, they kind of don't work. They kind of just make your skin seem more white. Um, but I will, these are if you want to wear a little nicer short, if you're going to a barbecue, if you're going somewhere else, and you want to be comfortable, you don't want to just be wearing jeans. These are also great. They're um, just a khaki color, kind of cargo pantish. On the, along those same lines, these are some high-waisted black shorts, which you could also do the same thing with the bottom of the hem. You can roll them up. Now, these are also something I would wear if I was going somewhere that wasn't as low-key. They're high-waisted khaki shorts, and these are Old Navy. So affordable. Um, they're great. They're very thin, very nice on the skin. They don't constrict. So, And these also work really well if you want to dress them up with like a nice blouse and tuck it in. I wear them with any kind of shirt, depending on my mood, depending on what event I'm going to. So, I also really, really love long capri shorts. These are American Eagle, so they were a little more on the expensive side. But they fit great. Um, they do come kind of pre-hold and pre-frayed. So these are definitely, if I'm not wanting to look amazing um, for anything, I chuck these on if I'm just doing errands or if I'm going out with friends. I mean, if I want to be casual, these are perfect. I prefer these sometimes to actual short shorts just because you can do different looks with these. And then also I have the very, very classic... <coughs> The very classic uh, sweatpants shorts. These are from Hollister. I got them when they had like the short sale for $10. Um, Hollister does great shorts. They're, these are a little short. These definitely are not something I wear out of the house. Unless I'm going to the pool or beach and I just want to throw something on over my bathing suit bottoms. Um, these are great for that. If I'm lounging around the house, cleaning, doing errands, perfect. So... With summer, you get to experiment with different tops. I'm a big fan of the t-shirt. They're comfy. You can't go wrong with a good solid t-shirt. But here are some options with shirts that you can dress up, dress down, make it look fancy, make it grunge. So the first is, this is from Victoria's Secret Pink. It was like 10 bucks, 7, 10 bucks. Now this is definitely a shirt that I wear if I'm working out. It's the racer back. It is quite low cut in the armpit. So I usually wear a sports bra or just a regular bra if I'm feeling eh and I just don't care if I'm, if I'm going to work out, I just don't care. However, I will put a tank top under this and tuck it into a nice pair of capris. And it does kind of make for a nice nighttime summer outfit. You can wear it to carnivals, you can wear it to the beach or a barbecue, and it does dress it up a little bit. Or you can pair it with something like this, which are athletic shorts, and it's a workout outfit. So this is a shirt that is a multi thing. Um, I love it. I love the color. I'm a big fan of blue. So you can always dress these guys up or dress them down. The second shirt I have is very is very similar. I got this, I believe I got this at Target. It has a little pocket in it. And it's very similar in the fact that it's a racer back. But it's a little shorter, not as slouchy. I do always wear a tank top under this one. Just because I do feel like this is a little nicer since it has a pocket. 
and it's not as baggy. Um, I like that this is like purple and white striped. I kind of really like it. The racer back is a little thicker. And I really am obsessed with this. I have a shirt um, very similar to this, but it's striped orange and white. And I also have a tie-dyed really long dress shirt that like goes down to my knee. Um, that's definitely kind of put a tank up on. It could be a dress. It could be a fun summer thing. Throw a belt on it. But I usually wear this with a pair of just jean shorts or even the black cargo shorts I showed you earlier. These ones look really nice with it. So this is kind of an all-purpose shirt. I love it. Shirt number three. Now, I'm a little iffy about these. This is my first time trying them. It's a very, very slouchy crop top. Um, I definitely would wear this with like a bandeau bra or a sports bra under it. It does go quite low in the back. This is Massimo Supply. And I did get this in an extra large because they are meant to be slouchy. I'm probably like a medium or a small, a medium to a large. Um, it's a nice purple. I loved it. I really like the color. I also got one in black. They were on sale for like 10 bucks. So affordable. Target. And I'm really excited to pair this with my really, really, really kind of like fun denim shorts. I'm really excited to pair these together and kind of make a little like almost festival-ish outfit out of it. I've never done that. Um, I'm probably going to wear this to the Renaissance Fair, which will be amazing, but it's just a fun little outfit. Option number four. If you are going somewhere a little nicer and you want to dress up, you can always wear a fun summer dress. This appeared in my last month's favorite video, and I'm still obsessed with it. Still love it, but I will definitely be wearing this to parties, 4th of July stuff, even though it is black and white. Um, and it's just an all-around great option. It is like a tube top-esque top, so it does kind of fit quite nice. And then it flows out at the bottom into a really, really nice skirt. And I got this at Forever 21. I think it was like... $14. Not bad at all. Um, really affordable. I love Forever 21. Just throwing that out there. But I will wear this a lot this summer. I think it's amazing. So, with all these outfits, hair also comes into play in summer. I have a lot of hair. My hair used to be much longer than this. I recently just chopped it off. It used to be a lot, lot longer than this. So, with summer comes the hair dilemma. I always want my hair down and flowy in the summer, but I always end up throwing it up in the top knot because no one wants long hair on the back of their neck when it's like 95 degrees. So I did purchase some things that I think would be really fun for the summer depending on the occasion. The first thing I purchased is this really, really cool flower headband. I got it at Claire's and it has the teeth in it. So you literally throw it on, push it back, comb your hair back, or you can put it in over and it makes like a little cute thing. I love this. I wore this at a wedding I was at recently paired with the next item, which is this cute little yellow flower clip. It is a clip. It does grip in hair and it is really grippy. It doesn't fall out. Um, I put this on top and then braided my hair like Katniss Everdeen, braided it from the side down and then clipped this at the end with a little elastic, but clipped this over the elastic and it made a really cute kind of bohemian hairstyle. I wasn't sure if I could pull it off, but it worked. So these are great. And I also got along the lines and I got these all at Claire's by the way, I got flower scrunchies in silver, white, and black. So this is a nice option if you just want to scrunch your hair up in a nice, fun, summery thing. So, my last thing is shoes. Now, shoes are something that I personally am a little bit obsessed with. And I have lots of shoes that I wear in the summer. The first pair that I want to grab are my Kobe and Sandals from Bethany Hamilton. I got these in Mau on Maui. 
and I've yet to wear them. I am taking the tag off. It's still there. I am taking the tag off tonight because these will get chucked on probably tomorrow because it's now warm enough to wear these. Another pair of shoes that I like to wear in the summer, and this is going to sound really, really weird. These have appeared in how many of my videos, guys? Like, at least almost every single one of my favorites in every travel video. Combat boots. I like to wear these. Honestly, don't laugh. I like to wear these with shorts. Sometimes it works. The khaki shorts that actually looks really good with. So if you're brave enough to rock combat boots in summer, kudos to you because I'm one of those people. You cannot go through summer without the classic Converse low tops. I have three pairs of Converse. I have these black low tops. I have a pair of black high tops and a pair of pink high tops. But I usually reach for these. Um, they're classic. They go with any sort of jean bottom, whether it's pants, shorts, or capris. And they're just a shoe, shoe that you can wear anywhere. They're comfy. You can't go wrong with comfort. I also really like if I want to kind of look a little nicer. I have a pair of Birkenstocks that I don't wear very often. And I should. They're practically, yeah, they still smell new. But it has the classic strap, but it also has a like a toe twist, which just adds a little extra flair. Um, I love these. My feet even had time. My feet haven't even had time to tell the little I wear them. These form your feet and mine have yet to form because that's just how little I wear them, but I will this summer because they are amazing and comfortable. So I like buying shoes and not wearing them and then saying I'm going to and I've been saying this for five years. Sperry Top Siders. These are the boat shoes. Um, I used to wear these in Florida. I went through one pair. This is my second. I used to wear them in Florida all the time, and I moved back to Chicago, and they kind of aren't acceptable. They're just not cool here. But I will rock them this summer. I will bring them back, and I will make them okay again, because they are really comfy, and they're really squishy on the inside. And you can't go without summer without the Massimo version of Keds. They're like $17 to $12 at Target, depending on when you buy them. I got red. I will be wearing these on the 4th of July. I did last year. so. And these also look really cool with jeans. They all Because they look like Keds. They look like they did when you were five. So these are great. So those are some summer outfits. Those are some of my favorite summer clothes, some options. If you like this video, leave a comment below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and check back for more videos. And something exciting um, is happening. I'm going to start trying to vlog as much as I can this summer. I do have some time off of work. Being a teacher, I do have some days off. So please, I'll put the link to my second channel, my vlogging channel below, and please look out for those. You will see a lot of the stuff that ends up in these main channel videos in those videos when I buy them. So I hope you guys have an awesome and safe summer. And if you try out some of these looks, send pictures. I'll put my Instagram and Twitter in the description box. Tweet me, Instagram me pictures, mention me on, on any social media site. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great summer. Bye.